guess what? Uh, baseball. Uh. Baseball's back, baby. Yeah, it's it back in Columbus. Is. Clippers, that's right. Dana Turtle is live at the Huntington Park in the Arena District where, you know, we certainly are <laughs> he hosting. This, he has his beanie on, so that's not, that's not a good sign. No, but we're hoping that the weather's going to cooperate. I, I, it's a little cool here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit windy. And look at this. We've got this big tarp over um, the field here. This is Wes. Good morning. How you doing? Good. So uh, we're gonna look at the field here because Wes, you're the guy that's in charge of taking care of this. How do you get things so green and looking so nice? Well, it's been a big challenge this year. Winter has been uh, brutal for us. What are you gonna do? Because you know um, it's gonna pour today. There might be some big thunderstorms coming through. Um, is that gonna affect the home opener at 7:05 against Indianapolis? We hope not. We did a lot of preparation, and now we're covered up and ready to go underneath. So obviously, you don't want any rain on on the actual bases or anything, right? Right. We're trying to keep the dirt dry. Okay. Hey, I gotta tell you, I like how straight your lines are. In, in, in the outer field. I think you did a great job. Cool, I appreciate that. All right, so we're going to be back with much more here from Huntington Park in downtown Columbus. We'll be right back. Be careful with that thing, you know. Wow, that's true. <laughs> careful I don't where you're it. swinging that. <laughs> for Turtle Around Town. Good day's Dana Turtle is live in the Arena District for the Clippers home opener. And I know that Huntington Park is going to be hopping again. Good morning, yes. Dana. Good morning. So, hey, take a look at the field right now. And you know what, Maria and everybody, it is raining here in downtown. There's a guy walking down there. And, of course, we've got the field uh, tarped off because, obviously, there's rain. The uh, home opener is at 7.05 tonight against uh, Indianapolis. Right, Ryan? Yes, indeed. The Indianapolis Indians coming to town. All right. So, Ryan is the guy that you hear when you, when you watch the Clippers game. So, tell us about the season. What's going to be cool and fun? And, by the way, there's Crash. Wave Crash. Um, he has a new Twitter account. It is crash with a k mascot at crash mascot so like him on twitter so anyway ryan so tell us about this season what are we expecting well we're expecting a, a team that's gonna be a little bit younger than we've seen in the past we're gonna have some prospects on this team uh, jesus aguilar carlos moncrief guys like that and and some good vets too so hopefully uh, coming out of the blocks will be a good start mm -hmm. so um now you do your broadcast from right over there which is near the bar right. um what's that like having like dozens of people right behind you when you're live it it adds an interesting element to the broadcast to be sure um, some people, i mean i know a little bit about that but i mean you well, know that is a big bar it, it is a big bar now it's convenient obviously with the broadcast booth if you needed to get back there for something water typically yeah uh, but yeah people can have a good time back there and as we're out amongst the folks uh, sometimes people can become a bit of a part of the broadcast. We try and frown yeah. on that a little bit, but it's all in good fun. Now, I got to say, you got a great view, though, because check out that view, everyone. Now, now, tell people about what your life is like a little bit during the season. I mean, you literally work all summer. Yeah, that, that L word you said, that doesn't exist. There is no life during the season. <laughs> Starting today, we have, I believe, eight off days until... Uh, Wow. The end of the season, and three of them are the all-star break. But that's what you sign up for in baseball. It is, you know, I'm in a position where I travel with the team, so I broadcast every single game. And uh, there's very little off time, but if you love baseball, that's what you sign up for. Yeah, I mean, very cool. Now, last year when I was out here, um, the weather was not good. No, it was not, and it's not this year. And when, hope <laughs> when I did the weather this morning on ABC6, I was like, oh, my gosh, there is rain lining up back past St. Louis, and it's all coming here. Now, everybody likes to blame the weatherman. <laughs> when the yeah, did you hear that? Everybody does. Everybody blames the weatherman. This, it's going to be no different here, by the way. I'll tell you straight out, right from the get-go, if something bad happens again today, it's going straight on you. Now, uh, real quick question. So 7.05 is when, when the home opener begins. What would happen to cause it to be delayed? Is it going to be rain or thunderstorms? I mean, what kind of things would make it not happen? Well, uh, if you've got a rain kind of like what we're having right now, you wouldn't want to start the game under these conditions. Obviously, player safety is paramount. A light drizzle you can deal with, a threat of rain, maybe an hour out, you'll start the game and, and try and play it. But you wouldn't want to start in something like this because it's it, the bases obviously get very slick because they're a, a smooth surface. Puddles start to form, the grass gets slick. So player safety is key. By the way, there's also people throwing a baseball 95 miles an hour near other people. So you yeah. want to make sure there's safety there as well. All right, guys, we got to toss it back to you. Um, we'll see. Um, my hunch is it's going to be really wet for the home opener, 7.05. We'll see, though. You never know. Uh, the grass looks beautiful, though. <laughs> well, my fingers are crossed, and I'm hoping they get to play today. Yes, me too. All right, thanks, Data. Turtle around town this morning. We're sending Dana out to Huntington Park for Woo! open.
opening day. Did you just say peanuts? Like, oh, I missed oh, that. I'm gonna sort of like lean back <laughs> over this way. Jeez. It's baseball time. Dana, how rainy is it down there right now? Well, it's pretty quiet right now, and I tell you what, I'm, I'm kind of craving a hot dog at the moment because just being here makes me think about all the food and stuff that they're going to be serving. So, um, a home opener is at 7.05 against Indianapolis. What we're in right now, guys, which is kind of nice, it's a sweet. It is a sweet. It's actually warm in here and it's dry. Uh, good morning. What's your name? Eddie Lang, Henry. Hi. So, uh, tell us a little bit about the sweet. Whose sweet is this? And, um, you know, can anyone get one of these or not? Absolutely. Many people don't know that we have suites like this available on a nightly basis. And we also have a larger one available on the third base side that can accommodate up to 96 people. 96 people? That would be a lot of fun. I could bring you along, Sean. Hey, Sean, do you remember when we went to the Barry Manilow concert and we were in a suite? I we do. had a good time we, there. We can yeah. usually kick up a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, so we want to talk about tickets now because obviously you got to have a ticket if you're going to come to a game. Um, is it expensive? Uh, how do you get a ticket? We have very affordable seating here. Um, you can buy tickets anywhere from $6 all the way on up to uh, some of our more premium levels. But very family affordable. Kids are just $3 to get in. It's a great time for everyone. And the Dime a Dog Nights, right? Dime a Dog Nights. Hot dogs are only $0.10. Cents. It's a great, great time. Cops I think... I think I can afford that. Ten cents a, a hot dog. Okay, so what else is going on around here this season? Um, lots of fun stuff. We just got to get the weather to cooperate. Well, that's your job. We'll yeah. do the ticket part. We've got giveaways galore, family entertainment. We're going to have uh, attractions as the Superstars and Jake the Diamond Dog. And Diamond Dog is this coming Monday. Mm. Coming up, so come on out. And we've had uh, Crash out here, too. Oh, Crash. He's, he's excited. People love Crash. They love our mascots. Real family-friendly environment. All right, very cool. Hey, Sean and Marshall, look at this view from uh, my suite here. Oh, wow. Ooh, it's a little chilly. You know why I look <laughs> like this? Because I've got a big coat on, yes. and then it's, you know, I mean, I'm not really this buff, well, <laughs> but there you go. Thanks for telling now, us. <laughs> I, I don't like heights, but let me tell you, this is a great view. Oh, the yeah, view I should have looked down there. from up there. It is truly I know, one of look the most at this. pretty parks. Hello, downtown Columbus. There Good morning. There you know, for anybody, um, who's hey. never, for anybody who's never been to Huntington Park, mm -hmm. it is it's really, beautiful. It really is. It is an outstanding ballpark. And, the, you know, one of the best things, and the, uh, Jacobs Field, or the, the, the park formerly known as Jacobs up in Cleveland, um, is also one of these parks where you can actually watch a game from the sidewalk. Oh, yeah, that's You really fun. can. Uh -huh. um, if, you, if you, for whatever reason, either don't want to or can't afford to go in, there are $6 bleacher seats, which are a fantastic bargain, right? Mm -hmm. $6 bleacher seats on Diamond Dog Night, it's a night for the whole family. It really Easy is. Enough. If you want to know more, you'd like to get tickets to the Clippers, just go to myfox28columbus.com and click on news links. Woo! Columbus Clippers ring your bell. We're hoping the rain doesn't make those little... Bell noises sound yeah. kind of soggy later There's today. There's a good chance it's going to be wet for the home opener here in Columbus today. But in the meantime, Dana Turtle is live at Huntington Park. We're all keeping our fingers crossed, Dana, that hey, we're going to get this game in. You look like me. I know. Hey, Sean, look at my big finger right I here. I love your big finger, Dana. That is very cool right there. Hey, Ken is hanging out with us. Uh, Ken, you're kind of in charge of the Clippers, aren't you? Yeah, I kind of am in charge. So last year when I was here hanging out with you, um, well, the, the home opener didn't really happen. No, it did not happen. <laughs> this, is, this is your chance for a makeup call. Because, so, uh, if you don't make up, you could be a free agent weatherman by the end of the evening. <laughs> well, it, it's a good thing Marshall is able to do my job. Um, sadly, here's, here's the deal. It's going to be really wet, and, and the home opening game is at 7.05 against Indianapolis, right? And it's going to be clear by then, you told me. Uh, well, it'll be clear in probably Tucson. No, no, that's not what I'm asking for. <laughs> Probably going to be wet around here. So, hey, uh, let's talk a little bit about um, the field. It looks beautiful out there. It's nice and green. We've got a tarp out. Obviously, with rain coming, uh, what do people need to know if it does rain? Um, what, what makes you cancel the game? Weather conditions at game time that are just too inappropriate, both for the customer and also anything that would put the players in danger. So, Okay. You excited about the season? What's going to be new and hot this year? 
Well, hopefully the team's going to be new and hot because we've had a couple of rough years. We've got some mm -hmm. new young kids this year, and uh, you know we really just need good weather. All the big promotions, Dime a Dog Night, and the giveaways, and the fireworks, and the Zooper Stars, everything that's made a su success will will come back and be part of this year's schedule. Now I got to ask you, where where can people buy their fingers? They can buy them at our souvenir shop. What colors do they come in besides gray? They come in gray. Just gray? Yeah, if you want yellow, like you said, you got to go to Amazon. A yellow one or maybe a green one. I'd be happy with a blue one. Would you have? Well, we, we might have blue. <laughs> okay, we're out of time. Well, have a good season. Shake my thumb or my, or my finger. Thank you, Ken. Thank you. Uh, good luck this afternoon and this evening with the rain. Well, whether you come back or not, next year hinges on how you do this this afternoon. Keep that in mind. <laughs> you know what? It is totally my fault that last year happened, but again, it, it's going to awesome. rain again this year. You know what? We should blame Marshall McPeak. He's a meteorologist, too. We'll get him. We'll try him next year, then. It won't Dana, be you, you if it rains tonight. A big hug. I'm promising you that. Sean told me to give you a big hug, so we'll give you a big hug. Okay, we'll, we'll send Sean <laughs> Back out to you. next year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Sean could come out here. She would love it. All right, you just have thank you for tickets Thanks. to the you Clippers. Bet. Just go to myfox28columbus.com and click on news links.